What's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Alex Jr. And now I'm back with another fragrance video. All right, so smell good family. As always, hopefully everyone is doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. I truly hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're healthy. Hope your finances are taking off. Anything that could go positive that's affecting you on a day-to-day -day basis, I hope it is going well or i hope it's on the upside of getting better all right so um today's video i i, I thought i'd done a video like this i've done about i think i'm at like 740 plus videos um in a, a little over a two year time span so i thought i did a top 10 clone fragrances like period uh of all time like you can take the rest of the clones that i have take them away just leave me these 10 type of videos and i couldn't <laughs> I couldn't research it. I, I researched it, but I couldn't find that I did one. So here we are today. So we're gonna be giving my top 10 clone fragrances in my entire collection, bar none, take the rest away, leave me these, and I am good to go, all right? So clone fragrances could be a touchy subject, depends on who you're talking to. I'm a fan of them. I understand uh, the route of a uh, the clone fragrances, all right? So bang for your buck, save a lot of money while still smelling absolutely fantastic, luxurious, double now sexy whatever term you want to come up with a lot of clone houses and uh independent fragrance houses they really have put forth an amazing effort to give us some really great quality fragrances man with an opportunity to save a significant amount of money all right so these are my 10 um this list could change every year it probably will but as of right now today here we are all right so up first this is one of my most this is the most recent clone to my collection and it is super good all right from the house up indoor scents from the paris corner umbrella we have charuto's tobacco vanille charuto's tobacco vanille this is a absurd clone of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Absurd clone. This stuff is amazing, man. Uh, that wet, uh, almost sticky tobacco-like, man. Spices. Beautiful sweetness in here as well, accompanying the tobacco. This, uh, it, it is fantastic, man. It, it smells tremendous. The quality is there. Performance is there. Um, I think I paid thirty dollars for this fragrance from um, Aroma Concepts, and um, this is a this is a three pointer from Half Court, man. They really did their thing with this fragrance for sure. So during the cooler months, even on a date night, even to the office, I'm really starting to really uh, to really uh, fall in love with this style of DNA. Now I don't think I'll. I don't know if I'll ever get a bottle of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinny. I don't know, we'll see. But it's not on my radar in any way, shape, or form because of this. This stuff is fantastic. Top 10 for sure from the house of Pandora since we have Charuto's Tobacco Vanille. Great stuff, man. Great stuff for sure. All right. Up next, it is a classic in the clone world. Um, maybe everybody watching this video has this bottle. It is absurdly great as well. Has to be here, right? From the house of Rojas, we have Hawas. Rosasi's Hawas. Something about Rojas. <laughs> Rosasi's Hawas. Whatever Invictus, whatever Invictus or whoever, the, the bubblegummy, aquatic, sweet, fresh, spicy, whatever, whatever. This is it. <laughs> to me, it's better than any version that Paco Rabanne has put out and others. Um, this is the top of the line when you're dealing with that, this style of DNA. Fan favorite, mass appealing, very easy to wear, synthetic, sweet, slight spice. I really like how this has a little density to it. it has a, a lot of density to it, man. The base of this fragrance is very strong and sturdy, so this has to be on the list, bar none. This even could be number one. 
or at least in the top three for sure if I rank them one through ten, which is very hard to do, so that's why I don't do it. All right, but from the house of Rasasi, definitely has to be on the top ten all-time clones list. We have Rasasi's Hoas. Hoas. This is the ultimate Invictus whatever fragrance for sure. All right. Up next, this is definitely the number one. I'll say if I had to rank them, this is we definitely number one, y'all. If those who've been watching this channel and following me over the past two years, you've seen this fragrance a bunch of times, and this will be pound for pound number one from the house of our mouth. We have Club de Nuit's Intense Man for sure. Representing is the limited edition parfum. Uh, very super close and inspired by Creed's Aventus. Creed Aventus is a top three DNA for me of all time. And I have a few bottles of Intense Man, different <laughs> versions. Do I need them? No, but in the midst of me trying to find a spot uh, for a Creed Aventus fix until I was able to get a bottle of Creed Aventus, this is it. Um, a masterpiece. The DNA is just a masterpiece. A masculine, sophisticated, classy, fun, um, type of DNA, man. It, it just checks every box for me, personally. It just checks every box, man. So, you get your sweetness, you get your slight um, earthiness, you get your a slight uh, a sweetness, you get uh, a musk, you get you get a lot of things in here, man. If you know anything, a cheaper style of DNA that Creative Ventures has, this is definitely it, man. So, definitely in this list has to be number one, if I had to rank them, from the House of Our Mouth, we have Club de Nuit's Intense Man representing is the limited edition parfum. All right. Up next, I acquired this uh, earlier in 2023. And uh, this is a scary clone. This is probably the, this and one other are the scariest. And when I say scariest, they are dangerously close. I can barely tell the difference between this and the original from the House of Pandora since as well. We have Camaro Ohm Intense. This is probably most popular and most talked about clones out right now. Uh, going right after uh, Dior Ohm Intense with some elements of Dior Ohm Parfum. Heavy base, uh, heavy iris base fragrance, makeup sticky iris, um, a leather touch. Uh, with this one, um, I've told the story before, I used to um, have hibiscus soap, like straight hibiscus. So I picked it up uh, in here um, in this fragrance, which was really interesting to me because hibiscus is not a note that I'm too familiar with to my nose while we're dealing with fragrances. So I was able to pick it up and it's blended beautifully with that iris, with that leather touch, man, the spices in here. This stuff is fantastic. This stuff is fantastic, man. They smoke this. It stays sold out and I understand why, but this is legit and had to be on this list from the House of Pandora since we have Camaro Ohm Intense. It was a must that this made the list for sure. And I know a lot of you out there definitely agree. All right, let's swing over to the House of Alexandria. Um, there's a reason why I don't have a full bottle of Dior Sauvage Elixir. And this is the reason why. From the House of Alexandria Fragrances, we have ETE Sauvage Elixir. Short and sweet with this one. It's, I hate to do it, but it's 90, 95% close. It is a beast of a performer. You get every single element that is in Dior Sauvage Elixir in this. You can get this in a 30 ml, a 50 ml, and a 100 ml, but this is dangerously close, dangerously close to the original creation of the Dior Sauvage Elixir. Fan favorite, I tend to wear this more in the fall, yeah, in the fall and in the winter time, um, because it is heavy, the spices are there. Um, masculine um it's just so 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 good and the performance you couldn't ask for better and you can save quite a bit of money with all of these but this is a great example of not have to spend so much money to smell like this dna so i encourage you to look into this one if you're on a budget balling on a budget nothing wrong with that we all should be on some type of budget but this is not a financial youtube page but this gets it done from the house of alexander fragrance Fragrances, ETE Sauvage Elixir. One more from the House of Alexandria as well, and I have plenty from the house. And this was hard, but I know in the summertime, I really love to wear this. And this is one of my first purchases from the House of Alexandria. And they smoke this, all extract de parfum concentrations here. This is a direct inspired 
uh, from one of the heavyweights uh, from Creed in the summertime. We have Alexandra Fragrances Hawaii Volcano Intense. Now this is a direct inspired by Creed's Virgin Island Water. DNA is amazing. Lime, crushed sugar elements, like a, like a key. It's kind of like a lime, uh, beachy drink, daiquiri, margarita, whatever it is. Rum, boozy, sweet, fresh, fun, vacation-y. Man, they killed this one, man. And, and there's a lot from Alexandra that I love, man. But I wouldn't want to be without this one. I wouldn't want to be without this one. And this is another uh, experience for me where this is keeping me from getting a full bottle of the original DNA. It's going to keep me away from doing that because it's just so good. It's so good, man. And and like I said, this was hard to, to do. Um, but if I had the top 10 to bring with me, I know during the summertime, I'm going to be reaching and looking for this DNA from the house of Alexandria Fragrances. Once again, we have Hawaii Volcano Intense. This stuff is awesome, man. It performs just it's great it's great all right We've got four more left to discuss I talked about this fragrance a, a fragrance a lot in 2023 halfway done with the bottle already I may finish this bottle this summer spring and summer we'll see from the house of Afnon we have Tarathi blue Tarathi blue this is a direct inspired by from another very popular fragrance that's out there in the community and that is Bulgari's Tigar all right this stuff is fantastic man citrusy musky slight spice it's like a like a like a white floral approach in there that i get as well tigar is sensational i have several several samples of tigar i could wear those samples anytime i like but i have been reached for this much more sure the quality in tigar is higher absolutely but i'm good with this I'm good with this, and Tigar is really expensive. So you're talking a $300 plus dollar fragrance. You can grab you did grab this for around $30 to $40, and you will be just as satisfied, in my opinion. Now, if you're a quality snob and you want to go as high as you can go with quality, there's nothing wrong with that because I'm a quality snob myself. But that tell that should tell you that this is quality. <laughs> so perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer, especially if you're in the more in those warmer climates. This stuff is awesome, has to come with me in the tin that I'm taking for life from the house of Afnon. We got Tarathi Blue. I have a backup bottle of this, and I don't have a backup bottle of many things, but I do have one of this, all right? All right, up next from the house of Latafa. This is also keeping me away from getting a fragrance from a brand that I truly love, and I have a lot of fragrances from that brand. From the house of Latafa, we have Mahir Legacy. Direct inspired by Parfums de Marley. Sedley, I've talked about it a lot. If you follow this channel, you watch these uh, my videos and live streams, you know how I feel about Parfums de Marley. Well, this DNA is so good. It is so scary close again. Another situation where we have a clone that is scary close. Great for uh, a fun day when you're just kind of going out vibing and chilling. You can wear this year round. I, I mean, literally winter, fall, spring, summer. Um, I, you know, I recommend it for everyday wear. It's very versatile, you know, spicy, musky, uh, citrus uh, sparkle of uh, citrus sparkle effect that's in this thing as well. It just shines. Now on my skin, this performs better than the Parfums de Marley Sedley. It just does. I'm just going to be completely honest. It performs better. The quality in Parfums de Marley is a bit higher. Yes, but this is no slouch at all. This is great. Bang for your buck. Awesome stuff from the house of the top. We have my hair legacy. Gimmicky bottle. Yes, but I don't care. The juice inside is what matters for sure. All right. All right. Moving along again from the house of our moth. We have another one from the Club de Nuit line. And that is Club de Nuit Siage. I've said this before, and I remember somebody in the comments had requested YouTube to, to uh, delete my channel because <laughs> they felt I was being egregious. I just like this better than what it's cloning, and it's cloning Creed Silver Mountain Water. I just prefer this 
Till this day, I've had this bottle for about three years and I still prefer this over Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Uh, inky, musky, spicy, florals. There's a tea note in here that really rises up. Man, there's a tartness to it as well. This stuff is just awesome. Um, it's a masculine scent. Um, it is not for everybody, um, but it is something different and super unique, different and super unique, and it does a great job um, going after the Creed Aventus, Creed Aventus, the Creed Silver Mountain Water uh, DNA. This stuff is awesome. Bang for your buck once again. We have our mobs, Club de Nui, Siage. Has to be on this list, has to. And last but not least, this is the best clone of YSL's tuxedo that I have put my nose on. Um, it is right there, and I put my nose on a couple of them, but this to me is the best. From the house of Maison Alhambra, we have Kismet for men. Yes, sir. This is super close to the DNA of YSL tuxedo. YSL tuxedo's uh, quality is a bit better, of course, but again, this is no slouch. Get a lot of patchouli here, man. Spices, patchouli, little earthiness, very masculine, very sexy, very confident style of a fragrance. I really enjoy wearing this for sure. Um, this to me is another um, example of bang for your buck and you don't have to spend that much money to smell fantastic. This is another example of that. This stuff is awesome. If I never knew the price and I smelled this, i definitely say this was a north of $100 fragrance. I would definitely think that. But the great news is, you don't have to pay $100 to get this. 30, 40 bucks, maybe even cheaper, it's yours. Great, great, great inspired by from YSL's Tuxedo, which is a masculine titan and man's man type of scent. Um, it's good stuff. From the house of Mason Alhambra though, Kismet is coming with me in my top 10. And there we go, Smelga family. Those are my top 10 clones in my entire collection. Take them all away, but these are the 10. I'm sorry I couldn't rank them. I just couldn't do it, but believe me, these are the 10 for sure. So let me know down in the comments, what are your top clones of your collection? Or let me know how you feel about clones. Do you hate the clones? Do you love the clones? Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on clones as well, all right? So until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Y'all know what it is, baby. Positive energy and positive vibes. Splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around. And remember, what you put out into this world is exactly what you are going to get back. Splackle!